rare hair up day today like it's official the hair is staying up today basically just couldn't be bothered to do it so yeah it hasn't been long since i saw you last but i've had a few developments in the past few days a whole load of stress and anxiety i actually had to tell myself off last night because it was ridiculous i was like shaking and it was just so so unnecessary you know when you're just like unnecessarily stressed and you're like this is not a problem you just need to sort your head out so yeah it's getting to the stage where the moving stress is real i have realized that we kind of officially start like the process next week i think so i don't know when this will be for you but you'll know you'll know when i'm in because on stories my house will obviously change but yeah the moving stress is real and it's just one of those situations where you have to be like this is a non-issue and you need to just be grateful so i had a really chilled evening last night because i needed to unwind i sat and watched what did i watch i watched a little bit of kardashians and then i watched patricia bright's the break platform which i just love and i just binged a ton of videos on there because if you haven't watched it i just love her like the videos are so informative and they really help you get into a certain mindset which i find really helps me to actually de-stress in a lot of situations because i don't know it just really does i think like when you're especially if you're buying a house and you're kind of stressing about things that aren't really problems like things needing to be perfect and then you realize that's not why you're doing this in the first place well for me i realized that that's not why i was doing this in the first place and i just it really helped me like get back in the zone and i feel really like a lot better now so i've worked out this morning i might try and squeeze in a little workout later this afternoon just because i find that when i'm a little bit mentally overwhelmed it really helps me to just like de-stress so i've done my run this morning my legs are like jelly like i really wanted to just like have some lunch and like really sit down for a long period of time and then i was like <laughs> I need to vlog. I need to talk to you guys. And that generally involves me standing for a little bit longer. But I am going to have some lunch. I'm going to work out later on. I'm just going to do some body weight stuff. Because I feel like over the next week, I'm just not going to get as much done as I would ideally like. So I'm kind of compensating for it now. Yeah, so worked out. Did my hair and makeup. Well, <laughs> if you can call this hair, I did. I did it. I got dressed. I'm really happy because I found, I just remembered, just, just, every time I remember, I get so much joy from it. I found my Topshop Premium Mom jeans, which I thought I'd lost. And it turns out that like, I had a broken pair of them because I broke the zipper. And I'd actually got them mixed up. So this was like stored where I thought I'd stored my broken pair because I still wear the broken pair around the house because it's just the zipper. I don't care if my flies are open at home. So they make quite a good comfy pair of jeans to be honest, but I had just mixed them up and all that I could find previously were my broken pair and my normal pair was where my broken pair was. So super happy because it meant that they work perfectly with my new top. This is from H&M and I am obsessed obsessed with it. I think I saw both Lydia and Patricia linked to it and I was like, I'm gonna be having that. I like it. It's cute. So yeah, really, really happy with it. I'll show you it. So this is what the top looks like. Ryan's bopping away in the background. Really happy with it. Took quite a while to arrive. I feel like I ordered it like two weeks ago, maybe longer, but really, really happy with it. It's like that perfect summer top for when you have that in-between weather and you just like want to wear jeans, but something that is nice and feels summery, but you know, your legs aren't out and you're warm. minutes you know when you basically come across something when you're online shopping i don't know if it's just me that does this but i'll find something when i'm online shopping and i'm like oh, that's the perfect thing that i've been looking for lately and i haven't been able to find anywhere and then you find something else that you really love and before you know it you spent quite a lot of time online shopping so yeah i was meant to be looking at home stuff I ended up on the H&M website. Oh, do you know why it was? Because I had to link this top. This is why Lauren's meant to do these things, except she's not meant to do these things because I keep control of stories. She does all the linking for YouTube because otherwise this problem would be a hundred times worse. But basically whenever I link something, I get to the point where I see things that I like and I end up shopping. So yeah, basically I think Lauren needs to take control of all of the linking from now on. She's probably watching this, editing this like, oh, you know, it's been 20 minutes, I've made it a H&M order, and I thought, because basically everything, every, everything? 
you can tell I've actually had some food now because I'm laughing at myself versus like standing by my window like a nervous wreck, like shaking, which is how I felt like my intro was today. Anyway, I've also had some really good news, which I'll update you on in a minute. Get to the point, Suze. <laughs> what was my point? Basically, things take ages to arrive from H&M. Like this took two weeks and because of that, it's now out of stock in like sizes 8, 10, 12 and 14 i want to say so there are still some sizes which is great it's not completely out of stock and it will probably that stock will probably come back in as people maybe return stuff but lauren is on the linking for similar so by the time you see this hopefully there will be some similar things in the info box because she's very good at that anyway i thought i would show you and hopefully you're seeing this on screen now my scroll through h&m and basically i just there was so much good stuff on the new in section so i thought i would talk you through the things that, that i saw that i was kind of like interested in and what i picked up starting from the top of the new arrivals page there were some cycle shorts that i did really like when i clicked through onto them they did have like a triangle up the side that was like a little bit see-through and i didn't love that so much so i didn't go for those and they also have them in a shorter version as well i just wasn't sure but i do kind of really want to try them out because h&m have been some of my favorite active wear like my really old leggings are all from h&m and their active wear was so great i just really didn't love the mesh bit on the side but i did want to find a really good dupe for the girlfriend denim so i might change my mind or you know you can you can test them out for yourself and i'll link them in the info box but yeah basically i was kind of like oh they look like a good dupe for my girlfriend ones which are a little bit more pricey but they're a sustainable brand and i just really love girlfriend as a brand i think they're great so moving on decided not to get those and then we have a linen blend dress i already bought one of these in the kind of like i want to call it the dolce and gabbana print but this one wasn't in that print and obviously you guys will have seen from a few videos back i already picked it up but i got it in 10 and it was so big on me most of the things i bought from h&m were so big on me which is so alien to me because for so many years for so many years i have always had to size up in h&m like whatever size i was in every other retailer i've had to size up and i don't know if they've corrected their sizing or i am just smaller i honestly don't even know what size I am anymore I've just lost I've, I've, I've lost the plot with it basically I ordered it again but in this different print because this print wasn't available when I first ordered that dress because I would have ordered this print I got it in a size 8 this time so fingers crossed it fits if not I will just have this altered because this print is something that I've been looking for in a dress in such a long time and it's such a classic cut the print is also very classic in itself really I think it's something that I will keep forever so I will be happy to have it altered if it needs it but hopefully just sizing down one size will sort it out and it will fit perfectly and if it comes in it does not fit and it's too big i will just might think my brain might explode because i don't understand so yeah i think that's perfect and i'm so excited and then there's also a crinkled dress which and other stories have a couple of these as well quite a few retailers are doing them now i believe me and emma are as well but um i have a couple of I think and other stories ones on the way because they are very kindly gifting me things but h&m do it in a white which and other stories don't and i just love it in white so i picked that up there's so many gorgeous things on the new in there's a really cute black play suit some really nice active wear then there's a crinkled cotton dress in white which i have also decided to pick up i was a bit like oh do i need it like obviously i have a lot of white dresses but i love them and i keep them forever as you will have seen when i was like getting stuff out of my storage unit for my wardrobe all of the white dresses just come straight back out and i just love them so much and this one is like a lighter less frilly more casual version of my zara one that i have which is much more like if it wasn't white i would wear it to like summer weddings if that makes sense like say it had a print on it it would be something that would be a bit more like formal and a bit more dressy so because of that it's not suitable for just like lounging around the house in because it's got so many layers to it whereas this is like a similar style which i love and i know suits me but it just looks a lot more like loungeable let's use the word loungeable so yeah i picked that up as well and then there's just so many gorgeous like floral dresses on h&m i had to literally stop myself there's a really nice nude cropped sports top which i was toying with i'm really trying to like not buy too much in terms of active wear there is one thing i don't think i have footage of me throwing in because i threw it in very last minute but there's like a lilac one shoulder yoga top and i couldn't resist i don't know what it is about i think it might be the walls in the house which i obviously want to change and i'll talk to you about that in a minute but there is something i think i've seen like this grazy lilac so much over the past six months <laughs> i think i've just been looking at different shades of lilac for so long that 
it's now in my brain and I now actually have a real soft spot for that colour. Obviously it's not my go-to shade, like I love a white. So those are the four items that I picked up. I thought I'd link them and talk to you about them in this video now because by the time I show you things, normally they're out of stock and I thought this would be a better way of kind of giving you a heads up on something that might come up further down the line if you want to buy it now. Like I might not like it so this is why I don't normally talk about things until they've arrived and I've done the try on but with H&M at the moment things are just taking far too long to arrive, like a ridiculous amount of time. Obviously not ridiculous given the current circumstances like it's very understandable but in terms of like me trying to tell you what I think about something it's very very tricky so I thought this would maybe be a better way to give you a heads up because I just feel really bad when I like show you things like this and I'm like it's not in stock anymore and then I feel bad. And then we also have to spend a very long time trying to find dupes, which is so hard for something like this. For some reason, they just don't make them like this anymore. It's so weird. So yeah, that is my little come shopping with me on H&M. And I thought I'd just continue this and talk to you about the lighting that I am looking for for my bedroom, which I talked to you about the mood board for it in the last vlog. I'm just trying to find a chandelier at the moment. And I it's so hard because you're looking at like the sizing of things and then trying to envision like how big that is in front of you but then how big that's going to be when you're looking up at the ceiling and then if I get like a really big bed like this bed isn't very big at all you can literally see it when I'm sitting on it and I'm a tiny human being like I take up most of it if I got a bigger bed that light would then look even smaller so I'm trying to like take that gamble of do I go bigger or do I be a bit more restrained and I think my mum's always had chandeliers which is one of the reasons that I love them so much and there's a specific style that I'm looking at that looks like one that she has in her dining room which might sound really weird for you to have a chandelier that someone would have in their dining room in your bedroom but it works it's the most beautiful chandelier and hers is proper like ancient I could not afford to buy it if I wanted to but because of that I think she is kind of going to be my go-to person to ask about sizing but yeah I thought I'd show you a few of the options that I'm currently looking at so we have this one these are all all on Wayfair I believe. This one is about 45 centimeters wide by the looks of it. I think that's what it means by this section here. But yeah they don't have any photos of this like hanging in a room which is hard enough to tell even when you've got a photo of these lights hanging in a room. This is the more affordable of the ones that I'm looking at. Yeah they're spenny but I think lighting is something that I'm very fussy about so I'm going to have to kind of just take it on the chin a bit and just never replace these things. That's why chandeliers feel quite safe to me because they are so classic. My family have just always had them. Like we don't have like super crazy fancy houses or anything, but we've always had chandeliers and they just in my brain stand the test of time. So yeah, that is one that I'm looking at. And then we have this one, which is kind of similar to my mum's one except it's not. My mum's has kind of more of a rounded shape here, I believe. I could be completely making that up. They have this one in two sizes, so I kind of need to decide. I feel like this one looks like old and vintagey, even though it's not, it's like a brand new light. So it's gonna have been like, it's not gonna have been made the same because they literally don't make them like that anymore unless you pay a fortune, but it looks the kind of most old and like vintagey. And for that reason, I think it's my favorite. This one is a more modern, chandelier and I do really like that. I think it's a very safe bet in terms of the style of it. So this one feels a bit more like one that my family have had in the past but this bit around the top makes it look a little bit more inexpensive to me but it is one that I feel like we've had something similar to in the past and I do like the sentimental value of these two being like other chandeliers in my family home. I really like that. This one we don't really have anything like because it's a more modern style but I do like the more modern feel of it and I like that kind of mix of modern and something really classic so yeah that one's a little bit more I think that's the most expensive one I'm looking at and I think it's the biggest I think it's about 80 centimeters across which is a big gamble I'm gonna need to text my mama and I really don't like asking my mum and dad too many questions I like to pretend I've got my shit together but this is something that I'm really not sure on meanwhile I also have these in my basket for my living room to go either side of my fireplace I think they look really cute I've just thrown really random things in here to be fair so I've got some eucalyptus which is faux because I can't get any from a florist for love nor money for some reason it's really strange I've also been looking at furniture for the garden as well because classic me just really obsessed with buying any kind of chairs I don't don't need anything like this because I already have the little chairs on my balcony as you will have seen but I would like a big like double version of this for the end of the garden so that's kind of what I've been more on the lookout for over the past day or so but we'll see I think I need to maybe prioritize a table more over this which reminds me I still need to send over my garden mood boards to see if anything can be done on that I'm not really sure garden stuff is just so expensive so yeah we shall see I definitely 
need to like sit down with my spreadsheet and make this all work. It's basically annoying because gardens don't really add too much value to your property. Like it's a bit of a nicety when people buy, but yeah, it's one of those things that it's not really adding value. But whereas me like storing that money and then using it to like renovate into something that does add value to the property seems to make more sense in my brain. But at the same time, I'm like, I want a garden. I'm gonna be locked up all summer i want a garden that's really really nice so i'm just like in two minds about that but I have a house update for you i don't know whether to save it for a whole house update video i've sat and had a think about it and i'm going to show you because i'll talk to you about the other things that are going to be happening which i'll update you on in a future vlog but i feel like this one i might forget to show you and i'll be really annoyed if i forget to show you and it's quite nice to just be able to update you in dribs and drabs let me know what you would prefer if you prefer like when my vlogs have a little bit of everything or you prefer them to be more themed because it makes sense to me to theme them because then you know what you're getting when you click on the vlog but i know some people love a little bit of everything so let me know what you prefer because i love your feedback but basically things are happening in the house at the moment um which is great because it is vacant and i feel like i need to i'm gonna have to repeat this over and over again in case people have missed previous vlogs the house is vacant so i'm not going anywhere near it but someone can work on it so i have someone doing work on the house at the moment and one of the things which i'm so happy about because basically when i viewed the house it had some rose gold lights and they just weren't to my taste and it was actually the first thing I saw when we walked into the house because we came in through the kitchen and these lights were just there glaring at me. And it's something that I probably would have loved. Maybe like five years ago, I would have been upset. The whole house, I would have kept exactly how it is now or yesterday exactly as it was yesterday i would have kept it completely basically everything is gray but there were these rose gold lights in the kitchen very geometric style which like i said five years ago i was obsessed with i was absolutely obsessed with and you couldn't have stopped me buying rose gold for anything i'm sure many of you will remember but they're not to my taste now and they really stuck out in the kitchen and it's such a beautiful kitchen really not again not to my taste but i'm not going to touch it for as long as physically possible because it's just it's been done very nicely but i felt like they were really letting it down a little bit so this photo doesn't show the kitchen so i still can like keep that for a little bit later but i'm gonna put this maybe on screen in a second so that you can see it in full but i have lights in my kitchen it makes me so happy i could stare at that all day i'm so happy with those lights i picked them maybe a week after the sale on the house was agreed maybe even less than that i saw them and i just knew that they were the ones and fortunately they've stayed in stock the entire time i've been going through this process because i bought them i think at the end of april and they arrived whenever i vlogged because i showed you those lights actually in a vlog i forgot about that so that's the lights that's the lights they're up and i bought them before the sale was even like completed because i was just so sure and i was like you know i'll just sell them if something goes wrong and something horrific happens i'll just sell them nothing's gone wrong i have lights it looks so good they're like the perfect gray for that space as well i also had a photo which i won't show you but there's a hole in my bathroom wall there is meant to be a hole in my bathroom well kind of hopefully there won't always be a hole in my bathroom wall but right now there's meant to be a hole in my bathroom wall because something exciting is going up in there i'm sure some of you can guess and i'm so excited about that again had a little bit of a judgment call to make with that in terms of sizing i think i may have nailed it which i'm really happy about basically most of the big things that i'm spending money on at the moment are things for the kitchen the bathroom and then lighting really more than anything and then everything else i'm going to do very very slowly but yeah those were just some things that i really wanted to perfect because those rooms i'm not going to change change so like the bathroom and kitchen because they're obviously far more expensive for me to do anything to it's not just like a lick of paint or anything like that and they have actually been done to a style that I can live with it's not my perfect style but it's not awful by any means I have no problem with it I think that it's been done to a beautiful standard and I can't fault it so for the foreseeable future if not maybe the entire time I'm there depending on how long things go on for if the economy tanks I'm basically going to be there longer if it doesn't go so badly we'll see what happens but those are things that i'm potentially not going to be changing at least anytime soon i picked out a mirror which is something that i probably would have gone for in any bathroom that i had anyway so i'm super happy with it and i'll probably try and take it with me when i leave and i picked out lighting and i need to do bar stools as well for the kitchen which i'm so excited about is there anything else no i think that's basically it those were the like the things that i was like do you know what i kind of need those sooner rather than later just for my like sanity more than anything so i can still not an essential i've got four walls and doors 
actually <laughs> actually i do need to replace the door that was a nice surprise for me but anyway so these are the bar stools that i will hopefully have ordered by the time this video goes live these are from by Cree. these are actually a brand that i found on instagram a while back and i just think these are amazing like they're customizable so you can pick sorry my little grubby nail list finger is in short but you can pick the bits of your seats here and here and then you can choose the color of them and then the material that you want as well and i just think that is incredible so you can have the frame being like white or black and then you just have all of these different like colors and finishes for the seat and the little backrest i think i'm gonna go for all black which i originally was thinking gray for the seat but i think black is more timeless and if i do redo the kitchen if i am lucky enough to have the opportunity to do so i will probably maybe keep them if not i think they're amazing quality and i know someone that i know will happily take them off my hands but yeah i think they're amazing that's what they look like that's the gray leather i believe with the back crest see so yeah, i was torn between that or the black but i think i prefer the black for the kitchen because basically i'm trying to get away from accenting with too much gray on top of a gray kitchen and go for a black i think it's a good call i'm really excited I i'll stop vlogging soon <laughs> I need to finish some work and do some exercise. My floor looks really messy from this angle. Oh my god. The thing I wanted to update you on, which is why I was stressing yesterday, so I feel like I can tell you why I was like a little bit like, hey at the beginning of this vlog. Walls and floors in the house are being done, not the entire house, but walls and floors. I'm so excited to update you next week. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, obviously I can't be there because social distancing so the guy that is there is basically going to send me photos of what is going on and then i can update you in the vlogs so that's why i'm really excited because i'm basically just going to be giving you photo updates and if i can i'm just going to ask him to like film himself doing the things and i'll also stick it in because i think that'd be really funny but i might get a no a solid no <laughs> from that request but yeah we managed to pull this out the bag very very last minute i'm just very grateful that the house is empty so we can do this because realistically i don't think it would work otherwise i'll explain why later down the line i'm so relieved i literally just got like the yes today that the floors could be done so <sighs> the floors are not easy as well you will see why so i'm gonna go do some work now and i'll be back with you in a bit I feel like my to-do list just doesn't move though. It's not ideal. I feel like I got more done this morning before I went out for a run than I have the rest of the day. But I feel like the rest of the day has just been indecisive, whereas this morning was like must do. So I think I'm just gonna have to start structuring my day a bit more like that. At least I know I've got the essentials done like within the first hour of the working day. I think I've picked a chandelier. I think I ended up looking at other ones just for some perspective and just kind of brought me back to one of the ones I showed you but the thing that bugs me is that I feel like they really like overly saturate the colors in them to try and get you to buy them but chandeliers don't look like that yeah I'm done and I'm definitely not doing a workout so yeah I'm gonna take my makeup off make dinner what is on the menu tonight chef Ryan the El Clasico El Clasico. Tomato and olive pasta. Tomato and olive pasta, which is my fave. Because I think, was that the first thing you cooked for me? Mm -hmm. I think it was. Tomato and olive pasta. I'm so excited. It's literally my favourite food now. I think it's it's on par with my avocado pasta. Mm -hmm. And you know how much I love that. So. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the stroke. I've got to the point today. I think I lost it like hours ago, but I've definitely got to the point today where I'm just being really weird.
take my makeup off. I had a little cry earlier and my um, makeup started like falling into my eyes. So it feels so nice to take it off. It's still like stinging a little bit. I'm organizing something for one of the local hospitals with and my eyes still burning with Space NK. And they were like, I was doing it on my own. And I was like, do you guys like wanna get involved in any way? You don't have to. I just thought like maybe I can make this bigger than just what I'm doing. And they were like, yeah, and, like talking about how they could help me, which just made me really emotional. Like, oh, that was actually just like sitting crying. And I was like, I really hope Ryan doesn't come in because he's just gonna think I've actually like fully lost it. Like she's actually gone, she's gone this time. You're having that much of a hard time picking a chandelier. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a very emotional person right now. I was like almost lost my actual shiz last night. So it's just carried on from there. But anyway, skincare. I've just literally taken my makeup off and just put some of the Oscar Lactic peel on just to see if I can shift those two little spots because they are almost like flat to my face now. It's just like marked and there's like a tiny bump. If I can just get them to like shift, that would be great. But that is literally it. And I'm just gonna do my skincare a little bit later. I'm gonna leave this on, on its own for just like a fair bit really. I find that to be the best way. And it's quite easy when you're like, just get makeup off and then make dinner, which is what we're doing. Done, chef thank you i've done the broccoli as well but i was almost well i was almost late to the party fortunately it cooks in like two seconds That at the moment. Watch yeah. people cook awful food whilst you eat your food. Makes sense. One episode the other day, I was like, oh, this is not cute. Do you want to end my vlog? Um, so, <laughs> I'm just taking my makeup off, um, ready for bed. Yeah. And peace. I think you're better at this. <laughs> we've taken our makeup off. We're watching the Perkins on YouTube and we're ready for bed. We hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Do I say anything else? I feel like Lauren could do this better. What's the finger? What was that? Peace. Yeah, I'm going to end this before I fall asleep right here. So, peace. <laughs>